Today we are going over three tips to cure candida. Definitely some things you should be doing if you're under the impression you might have a candida overgrowth, which is a yeast strain that naturally occurs in the gut. It's just when it overgrows, we have an issue. It takes over the other bacteria and you don't feel so good, especially when you have SIBO or SIFO, which is small intestinal bacterial or fungal overgrowth. And people typically don't start seeking serious solutions until it gets to that point because the symptoms from just having a slight dysbiosis, uh, gut imbalance, a slight overgrowth of candida, you know, people are still sleeping okay, they're not having irregular bowel movements, but then it eventually gets to the point where it's in the upper intestine and stomach, you get H. pylori, it gets really ugly real quick. So most importantly, we want to introduce probiotics, specifically water kefir and water kefir grains, dairy, the calcium content, there's issues with gut motility, although it might work for some people. Probiotic supplements usually is like dead bacteria. It's not the right combination of strains. That's what's proven for me. That's what's worked for me. I don't like recommending anything else. And it's necessary to ultimately fix the candida long term. But in most cases, it will fix the issue. You don't have to do anything crazy. If you just incorporate water kefir in high amounts into a good organic diet, it should go away. You know, it's like sending the good soldiers in to take care of the bad ones and everything usually goes fine. And there will be immediate results in days to weeks if uh, the probiotic is made properly, which is something people tend to have an issue with sometimes when trying to brew their own water kefir. But it will take, you know, several months before you kind of can stop using the water kefir and deviate off of it. Three to six months, depending on it. So definitely want to do that because all you really have to do is just add a probiotic. When you get into the antimicrobial protocols for more severe stuff, it, you know, it's very uncomfortable and it can cause some slight damage. So if you guys do want water kefir or water kefir grains, we're probably sold out on frankiestrangefoods.com, but you guys can try and check. Now in those severe cases where you can't sleep, you tried probiotics, it's not working, the food's really stuck in your stomach, that means that the candida has kind of taken hold because fungus have hyphae, which are kind of like roots that go out. So if it's really, really severe, you might have to kind of kill and eradicate some of it first. So antimicrobial is antimicrobe, similar to antibiotics. You know, they kill the bacteria and fungus in the gut and the blood. So if you take something like oregano oil, berberine, uh, unicillinic capric acid, there's broad spectrum candida supplements, stuff like golden seal. There's so many different things that are advertised for candida. It will not only completely obliterate your gut bacteria, it will actually enter the bloodstream and, and start, you know, if there's any fungal cells throughout the bloodstream and different organs, it will actually go to those too. Problem is liver has to process these very bitter, acrid, you know, almost poison to me herbs. So you're causing liver damage and possibly organ damage. And, you know, I mean, if you're using small amounts, it's okay, but you're not going to fix your gut health while you're on the antimicrobial protocol. This is just to kind of kill some of the candida so that when you have the probiotic, it's easier for those bacteria to kind of take over. And there's also things like N-acetylcysteine, NAC, uh, bismuth, uh, that break up the mucus that the candida can tend to hide in. And then for me, Mastigum, and we did a video on H. pylori a year or two ago that you definitely want to watch if you think this is the issue. For me, I just consistently take Masticum now because compared to all of these other antimicrobials, Masticum, you know, it doesn't damage the liver, it doesn't enter the bloodstream, it keeps the gut motility high, keeps, uh, for me, the H. pylori and the Candida at bay. So I really like that, uh, which we have on organsupplements.com as well as some other digestive aids like the macronutrient enzymes, which leads us to lowering the food volume. Uh, it's very important to keep food moving kind of out of the stomach, moving through the small intestine, digestion very smooth. And that might mean having smaller meals because you're overeating, or it could mean getting more physical activity or changing your food choices. Definitely the most overlooked aspect of candida overgrowth, you know, because you're hungry, 
you know, the bacteria, the fungus might be stealing some of the nutrients, so you keep eating and eating and eating, but that's exactly how you probably got the candida overgrowth in the first place. And as we said with the antimicrobial protocol, it's difficult to disrupt that fungus once it takes hold, once the hyphae are there. You know, like if you go out to a restaurant one night, have a huge meal, have a big dessert, have so much alcohol, and then the candida overgrows. If you don't do antimicrobials, it could take days to weeks to get that candida to kind of die down unless you're fasting. Um, and that's how you can reset your appetite. But fasting for candida, I mean, yeah, if you do it for a day or two and then you introduce the probiotic, that can be a slightly more effective way, but sometimes the antimicrobial protocol can be necessary. And we've done videos in the past on this, uh, and that's the main reason I'm making this video today is that the antimicrobial protocol uh, usually shouldn't be done for more than a day or two. You know, having small meals with a balance of protein, fats, and carbs and those antimicrobials, whichever ones you choose. Usually just a broad spectrum candida support supplement can be best. You have that with every meal, two, three days. It's safe to say the candida should be mostly gone. And then you reintroduce the probiotic. If that doesn't work, you can kind of repeat. But there's these like crazy regimes and people saying, oh, you need to do this every day for four, five, six, seven, eight weeks. It's because they don't have an effective probiotic. And I'll say this again. If you don't have the water kefir, if the probiotic isn't made properly, if it's not effective, it's not going to fix the issue. And that's uh, why it took me so long to fix my issue is I was doing all these protocols. And then when I went to take the probiotic, it wasn't working because it wasn't made correctly. And I'm just back at square one. So this is the most important for sure. Antimicrobial protocols really only if you have severe, severe problems and you can't sleep and it's ruining your life, destroying your life, and the probiotics aren't working. And then lowering the food volume, you know, really measuring your food, seeing what you feel best on, because sometimes the appetite regulation in the brain can be a little disrupted. And we put Wi-Fi shielding.com there because uh, EMF radiation can act as a catalyst for disrupting your digestion. So I'm always wearing my uh, anti-radiation outfits, guys and especially the liver and i mean really it can cause an overgrowth in the first place if there's enough radiation in your environment to impair your digestive function slow things down because the the liver and the stomach intestines the pancreas all those digestive organs are impacted severely by radiation it causes oxidative stress it it slows them down but the bacteria and the fungus not really so the candida is going to be having like a party in your stomach while your liver is not working if the environmental radiation is high enough. Yeah, so we didn't really touch on the diet because this is like a three tips to cure candida video, but it's basically the protocol we've been doing, what you guys have been seeing me do in the day of eatings with a small amount of lean red meat, the clean starch source like peeled white potatoes, possibly some fiber, Then, if you do want dessert like a peeled apple is okay. Uh, again, on Frankie's Free Range Foods, we have the water kefir and water kefir grains if you want to make an effective probiotic. Organ supplements, the masticum. We also have the macronutrient digestive enzymes, which will help get the food through the stomach and, and process things quickly, in addition to the masticum, which I take with every single meal. And then Wi Fi shielding.com. If you guys aren't wearing even just like a t shirt and shorts, I mean, it's, it's really, really the most significant thing that requires the least amount of effort, but you know, a little bit of money investment. I mean, now with all the fashion trends and how expensive clothes are getting. It's, it's, it's crazy that um, you can buy pure silver radiation fabric for cheaper than a regular t-shirt. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you guys can go to frank-stefano.com. You can check out all of my businesses and support me. I'll see you guys for the next video.